Because I'm a flutist, I've gotten many requests for this band called King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. When you hear a title like that, you can't help but be pretty curious. Hi, my name is Nitpick, and if you don't know who I am, I am a flutist and a music educator who enjoys all types of music. Today we're going to be listening to Hot Water. I don't know what I'm getting into, so we're just going to jump into that. But before we do that, if you end up liking what you see on this channel, please like and subscribe. And if you want to check out more stuff, there's some links down in the, de the description below for my Discord and my Patreon, where you can check out extra content as well as some free content that just gets blocked on YouTube. So let's jump right in. How yeah, Cletus? Give it up for these two fellas who picked up on the radio show today. Yeehaw! Fuck yeah! Yeehaw! And don't worry, we're a country couple, boys. The sun's out over there, Rover. There's no more rain tonight. Ah, we love it. I love we the love overalls. It. What do we call it, Joey? Uh, we're this joint, where we are. Where was, what's it called again? We love uh, you know, vaping. They vaping. look like country uh, boys, uh, but they're uh, not uh, country uh, boys. Rim liquor farms. We love rim liquor farms. Rim <laughs> Gibsons. Hey, hey, hey. this they just start the set and they're just having a good time they're building up the moment right i don't know i've never heard the studio version of this but i'm assuming that this like guitar parts are very similar but they're not the same same it sounds like they're creating new material each time because they're just enjoying themselves but that build up is insane like just Because we just get rhythm, guitar, and then finally we introduce our drummer. And I love this little beat. It's just simple, easy. Our bass drum, our bassist is hanging out in the back. He's doing a lot of the soloing. And 
the other guy, our flutist slash guitarist, is dealing with the chords, but he's also... He's playing around with the... how the guitar sounds here in a little bit. I love how he's doing two jobs at once right there. I love that bass line. And then, here we go, here we go. Because, like, okay, I am not shitting on this, okay? The, the assumption is just because I'm a classically trained flutist. And yes, it's flutist or flautist. Look it up in a dictionary. Damn. Anyway, I just think it's funny when everyone's like, oh, you don't know what, you, don't, you play the flute and you don't even know it's called flautist. It's both. Anyway, moving on. I'm not knocking him, but you can tell he's not a classically trained flutist. And who cares, right? You can just tell because the way he's holding his flute, every classical flutist knows that you should use your pinky key, okay? Flute players typically don't use what we call middle F sharp. We use regular F sharp. So, I mean, who cares? It's giving the effect it he wants and it's a cool effect like what i love about this and i think it's so funny because people immediately think i'm talking crap but this is so freeing for me as someone who's been a classically trained flutist since the beginning so like since i was in sixth grade 20 years three degrees later god i remember when i was a kid i remember feeling like man i wish i could play in a rock band but i wish i could just play flute because it's an instrument i'm already like really well versed in and i know i can do really well at the time it just never really clicked that like i i should have just tried something i should have just got together with friends and did something and if i'd have known it could have been cool like this or like ian anderson in jethro toll like yeah i would have totally done it P just pick up an instrument and learn right it's fun i am dying however to figure out what he's playing so like <laughs> 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 so let's talk about some of the things he's doing. So he's tonguing really hard to get these overtones. So you get that. So he's getting this cool, like, aggressive articulation. So he gets this cool flair to the sound. And then he ends up having a good time to do that. And he's overblowing. And it creates these cool harmonic effects. It's just neat. It's just fun. So... Yeah, I just wanted to go into that. And I really wanted to try and play the flute part.
this is just a groove. Someone get naked. <laughs> expecting just a flute solo by itself but me my classically trained brain holds me back sometimes because i'm like oh if i improv i've got to use a million thousand notes for these chord progressions to make sure that i'm really entertaining the audience and what i love that happened right here was the guy playing flute literally just played like three or four notes and it was still so freaking cool. He was sitting there just enjoying himself, just. And it was fun. I don't care. I, ah! <laughs> like I would. Ah! Anybody in the DFW area, if you want to start a band and you want a flutist to do some kind of shit like this, let's do it. Also, the fact that he was doing some flutter tonguing, so the only explanation I have for that is when you roll your R's inside your mouth, and then you basically, you're just like, you get this like growly kind of sound, and it's cool that he did that. Ugh. This is, it's just super fun to see that. And then he added some chromatic steps in there for funsies. It was just cool.
Joe Walker. <laughs> I think it's funny. If you're at a concert and they're like all of a sudden just saying a name, imagine if your name was like Joe Walker. God, what I love about, okay, again, something that I love about this is just there's something so grungy about it. Like, it's dirty, but it's a good kind of dirty. Joe Walker's in the background like, what? What? I want to be part of this! Hey, 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 hey! And then guitar solo! Yeah, he's got that grit on it. The guitar player in the back is adding some effect to the sound. My God. <laughs> wow. I, this is fun. I wish I was here. I would have enjoyed this a lot. The fact that there's just this freeing thing about not being a classical flutist, like you can just begin to have fun. And it's funny because I truly believe in that concept. I just... The difficulty is my job as a teacher is to teach kids to play classically, but this is the kind of stuff that I introduce them to. This is fun. This is really cool. I'm glad that I got to check it out finally. It's been a long time. It's been on the list for a while, so thanks for this one. All right, as usual, let's continue the conversation about music. What do you think about King <laughs> Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? And what do you think about Hot Water, AKA Joe Walker? <laughs> How many of you have actually had like private lessons before or were classically taught and then either continued those classically taught lessons or deviated from the path? I'm just curious about it because most people stick with it and then they can learn to deviate from it, you know? Let me know what your thoughts are and let me know what you think I missed. And again, if you like what you saw on this channel, please like and subscribe. And if you want to check out more, click on those links down in the description below for my Discord if you want to talk about more flute stuff or if you want some private lessons or you want to give me more suggestions for reactions or you can click on the link to my Patreon where you can check out more reactions plus some free reactions because stuff gets blocked on YouTube. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>